Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the real world of data. Today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, what it takes to be a digital analyst. Okay, so I've a beginner's guide to being a digital analyst. Now, in a previous video, I talked about what's the difference between digital analytics and data analytics. And digital analytics is essentially a sub-discipline of data analytics. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover off what are the skills that you need to become a digital analyst. Okay, so I'm going to go through a few of the uh, skills that you might need or things that you need to learn in order to be a digital analyst. Okay, so if you're thinking about being a digital analyst, these are things that you need to know. The first thing is you need to know how tagging works. Okay, so how are websites and mobile apps tagged so that you can get data to analyze. Um, so you need to learn about JavaScript codes, you need to learn about SDKs, and you need to learn how those uh, pieces of code that are put onto websites, put into apps, how they collect data. The next thing you need to understand is how is the data stored? So when the data fires off from those websites or fires off from those apps, how is it stored in, 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 in databases or in systems, okay? Um, and the reason you need to know that is because then when you are analyzing the data, you know what is and what is not possible because you know what's stored in the back end. So sometimes what you find is that you, you, you want to run a query, but you don't really know how to do it because you're not, you can't uh, visualize or conceptualize how the data looks in the back end. So now you know how the data is stored. What you need to know is how to analyze that data. And typically you would do that through a tool, okay? So the two biggest tools in the marketplace are Adobe Analytics and Google Analytics, okay? So if you are new to digital analytics and you want to learn how, how to do it, um, then my recommendation is to just get an account with Google Analytics. It's very straightforward. You create a Gmail account or a Google account and away you go. You can start uh, creating tags and putting it onto websites and seeing how the data comes back. Um, in fact, if you did the Google um, and Digital Analytics Academy, they give you a, 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 a test account which you can analyze data in as well. But Google is an easy, an easy uh, and free tool to use, so I would learn with that uh, before trying to work out how Adobe Analytics works. I mean, in fact, um, once you've learned how Google Analytics works, it's not that much more difficult to learn how, to, how Adobe Analytics works. Okay, so once you know how those uh, tools work, you need to know how to run reports in them, okay? Um, and that's a case of understanding what the metrics are, what the dimensions are, what the parameters are. Um, so if you were looking at, let's say, visits by day for over a week, then you would pull in the metric, uh, the metric visit, um, and you would look at how many visits are there by day. Um, obviously, uh, they, they have something called dimensions or parameters, uh, depending on how, what, what you like to call the term. But the dimensions are essentially things like a page. So how many visits by page, or how many visits by section, or how many visits by channel, okay? So you can bring in dimensions. Um, and if you are a data analyst, you can imagine this as some kind of variable uh, a type, okay, that you need to look at. So the next thing, like I said, is once you've learned how to use a tool, is to learn how to run reports in those, okay? Um, and what you want to really think about is what kind of reports do businesses want? So businesses want to know how many visitors come to the website, how many visits do they make, what pages do they visit, um, what, do they achieve any goals? So goals can be things like, did they register uh, with your website? Did they buy a product? Did they visit a certain uh, feature? That's a goal, okay? So you just need to know, okay, what will businesses want from me? So all you do is you just run uh, those reports and see what you can get back and understand um, what they are. Once you've been able to run those reports in the tool of your choice, and ideally you'd be using Google Analytics because it's free, um, is knowing how to um, analyze that data in uh, Excel. Okay, so even though what you can do in Google Analytics and in Adobe Analytics and all the other tools are out, that are out there, that you can automate reports in them. So you can create a report, um, you can set it up, and you can get it automated so people can um, uh, get that report daily, hourly, weekly, whatever that they want. So you can do that, okay? The other thing you can do with these tools is plug them into things like uh, a dashboarding tool like Power BI or Data, Google Data Studio or Tableau, um, and you can you know get people to uh, what they call self-serve so they can go through the reports themselves. But what you typically find in a digital analyst role is that you have to take the data into Excel at some stage, okay? For some things that you have to do, you have to take into Excel. So the other thing I would advise that if you want to be a digital analyst is get very proficient in Excel, okay? Um, one of the things is also Excel does plug into things like Adobe Analytics um, and, you should, and you can pull data directly into Excel and analyze it, okay? Um, so what I would recommend that if you can, uh, or I would recommend that you should actually, is to learn Excel. Now the other tool that I would recommend you also learn, and again, um, Analysts always find this very surprising is PowerPoint, okay? A lot of the times when you're asked to present your findings, they won't accept a, a Google uh, report or an Adobe report, or even if you put it into a, a Power BI report or in a Google Data Studio uh, dashboard, 
people won't really, uh, the business won't really uh, be interested in seeing the, the data in that format. So what they'd like you to do is actually put the report into PowerPoint. And the reason PowerPoint is PowerPoint is a very flexible tool to put graphs, put text next to it, and it's an easy way to present. And most businesses will have PowerPoint, so therefore when you go to present and you're not using your own laptop, using someone else's machine, um, you'll find that it loads and you can present. And everybody's familiar with PowerPoint and it works, okay? So again, another skill set that you should learn is how to um, build really good PowerPoint uh, or presentations. Um, so how do you build very good uh, PowerPoint presentation so that you can present back to the business? And hopefully in one of my future videos, I'll cover this. So look out for that. Okay, so that's really it. So if you want to get into digital analytics, like I said, uh, learn how tagging works, how websites and apps are tagged. It's very important that you know how tagging works because then you understand how the data is collected. Then you need to know how the data is actually stored in the back end. And the reason for that is because then you can understand when you're running reports what is and what is not possible. Then learn a tool, so things like Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics. Ideally, if you're starting off, then you'd use Google Analytics. So learn how to use Google Analytics. Then learn how to run reports in those tools and you know learn how to automate those reports so you can schedule them so they can go out daily, weekly, monthly. Um, and, and learn how you can also plug those reports or, that, or those tools into other reporting tools or dashboarding tools like Power BI, uh, like Tableau, even good, uh, Google has its own data studio. Um, so learn how to do that. Um, and then obviously learn Excel. Um, it, it is a skill set not just uh, specific to digital analytics, but for all analysts. If you want to be a data analyst, learn Excel. Excel is very important uh, as a tool. It's very powerful and you can do a lot within that. Um, so learn Excel. Um, but ultimately for digital analysts, it is a way to transform your data, manipulate it that you weren't able to do within your Google digital analytics tool. And then finally, PowerPoint, again, useful for digital analysts as well as for all analysts. Um, so I would learn PowerPoint, uh, learn to create great presentations that people will buy into, okay? Uh, because how you present your information is um, uh, what people will listen to and if they'll buy into your recommendations. Okay, so that's it really from me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, look out for more videos that I'll be producing in the future. Thank you.